Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Fillout, an awesome no-code forms tool, to be able to create quizzes so that we can capture more leads in our sales process. Now, there are many free quiz applications out there, but they're not really focused on lead generation. The lead generation ones are really expensive. And those aren't always focused on no code, but Fillout fills this amazing gap and can tie into no code tools like Airtable and SmartSuite as well. Now, if you haven't used Fillout before, we've got our affiliate link in the description below, as well as a link to our free upcoming course on Fillout to give you all the tips and tricks in getting started with Fillout. I'm inside of Fillout here, and I've got a quiz that I've already started. What you'll need to do is when you create a form, you're gonna go into your settings, and then click down on quiz mode where you need to actually enable it. So by default, it's not gonna check your form answers against the correct answers. That's why we have to enable the quiz to be able to have these correct answers it checks against. There's also another setting about whether you want to show the correct answers after each page. I tend to leave this off because if I'm using it for lead generation, I want that information to come through and not slow the user down as they're filling things out on the form itself. After we check those settings, we can come back in and we can edit it. You'll notice that this enables now these quiz questions as opposed to our standard questions that we might ask. We've got different options to go along with it. I love that we've got visuals we can use, such as images. So there's a lot of different things that we can do as we set up our quiz. As we're setting up the questions, the only real different thing we need to keep in mind is this little area at the top for the quiz answer key. This is what's going to actually check and then assign value to these items as we create them. So I'm a big DC fan, that's why we've got these kinds of quiz questions here. And I'm asking which heroes are part of the Trinity, which are Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And this question, if they answer all three of those correctly, is worth one point. We could add different weightings to this if, depending on the kinds of quiz that you're doing, you want to see uh, a different value assigned to it as opposed to one point for each question. You can click to give custom answer feedback um, based on if they have a wrong answer. Maybe you want to give some kind of a hint or correct answers. You can give that kind of feedback as well. In this case, we're not going to do anything there, but we've got these three different questions showing three different types of quiz questions we might utilize, and all of them have an answer assigned to it as well. Now let's go ahead and preview our quiz. Click my preview link. And so we'll go ahead and answer this. And I'm going to get this one wrong. I'm going to say Batman, Flash, and Wonder Woman. And we'll put in Damien and Catwoman. And when we answer this, we scored two out of three. And then we've got this little blurb on fill out. And we've got this response here. And this is where I think this is going to be great from the lead generation side, because we could forward them to a new form if we want to. We could put a link to something that we're advertising. And of course, we're capturing their email address so that we could follow up with them later as well. Let's hop back into the editor just to show you what this end page looks like. If I click on my ending, so this just shows by default the number of actual points that we got, but I added this block myself. And what I did was I created this as a conditional item and I decided to edit my conditional logic where I said the score is fewer than the total number of three points. So if I didn't ace the quiz, I'm showing this answer. Now we could create different levels to say, if the score is between one and three points, then go ahead and show it as well. If they got zero points, we wanna show a different kind of message. But to do this, we can go ahead and click on our data source. And rather than have it be based on the actual questions, we're clicking on quiz and the score to say that it is less than this value. I would like in the future for there to be an option where we could say instead of scores less than three, which we hard code in there to say if the score is less than total points, then we show this on the screen. But this is really handy as we get started. These fill out quizzes are amazing and paired with the other functionality in fill out, you have lots of different options such as URL parameters for default values. We can do redirects on the forms. If you want to check out the full power of fill out forms, make sure to check out our free course linked down below.